So it's official, Mattia Binotto is leaving Ferrari. He took over as team principal in 2019 and after four years in charge, he's decided to hand in his resignation following a year which did not live up to early season expectations. So why has Binotto done this, and how can his exit now cause Ferrari a big problem going forward? Well before we begin, if you enjoy the video make sure to leave a like, and also subscribe for more Formula 1 content, and you can follow me on Twitter at James underscore Formula 1, and there'll be a link in the description. So Binotto, who's been with Ferrari for 28 years, will officially leave his role as team principal on December 31st. It comes after what's been an overall disappointing year for the Scuderia despite it starting so promising. I mean Ferrari threw everything at this season, sacrificing 2021 for example to ensure they got things right in 2022. And they picked up two wins in the first three races, and were miles ahead in the standings at the start of the season. So much so that Max Verstappen wasn't even sure how Red Bull could catch them. But Ferrari failed to live up to early season expectations as Red Bull became stronger, with the team going on to dominate the season. And we also kept seeing so many problems with Ferrari this season, whether it be strategy, reliability or driver error. Now while driver error has nothing to do with Binotto, a combination of reliability and strategy issues put Binotto under pressure. I mean who could forget Silverstone, Hungary and Monaco for example. Three races that should have been won by Ferrari, but were thrown away due to strategy. And there have been multiple races like Spain and Baku where Ferrari were on for a very good result, but reliability stopped that from happening. And rumours started to come about towards the end of the season that Bonotto would be sacked, although Ferrari said these claims were totally without foundation. But now the team have released a statement confirming that Bonotto will indeed be leaving the team. He said, I'm leaving a company that I love, which I've been part of for 28 years, with the serenity that comes from the conviction that I've made every effort to achieve the objective set. I leave a united and growing team, a strong team ready I'm sure, to achieve the highest goals, to which I wish all the best for the future. Now Bonotto has been part of the Ferrari family for 28 years and very much rose through the ranks during his time there. He became head of the engine department in 2013, and then chief technical officer in 2016, before replacing Maurizio Rivibeni as team principal in 2019. He is a very talented man, but according to Automotor and Sport, Ferrari were actually interested in replacing him with McLaren team boss Andreas Seidel or Red Bull team boss Christian Horner after some disappointing years. But as neither were interested, Bonotto continued on in his role until resigning at the end of 2022. Ferrari say the process is underway to identify a new team principal and is expected to be finalised in the new year. They have been linked with Alfa Romeo boss Frederick Vasseur for example, and this would actually please Charles Leclerc given he worked under Vasseur in his rookie year in 2018, and they had a very good season together. But whilst as a team principal Bonotto wasn't as successful as he would have hoped, there's no doubting how talented he is. While apparently Ferrari had previously looked at other options, Bonotto's experience in helping build amazing Ferrari Formula 1 cars from the past would have helped him oversee the 2022 F175. And despite errors in the team throughout the year that hindered their championship hopes, the car had the speed to be at the front all year. But Bonotto has resigned from the role, and Ferrari may have a problem now as according to Formula Uno, Alpine, Aston Martin and a top team have been knocking on the door for Bonotto's services. And with his experience and ability to create a race winning car, it's no surprise that rivals want him. And apparently some prominent technicians could end up following him, which could be more bad news for Ferrari. And in my opinion, the team achieving the world title in 2023 will be difficult now. I mean the knowledge Bonotto has would have been critical in helping Ferrari take the next step to fight Red Bull and Mercedes next year. But his departure will leave Ferrari without that insight. And now more than ever they need it as the team start putting together their 2023 challenger. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be the video from me today. Thank you ever so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos. And until the next one, take care.